Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfiend here. Welcome back to our Warhammer 2 playthrough. As Grom the Poncho of the Misty Mountains, Grom is back over here. This episode should see us attacking Belagar of Clan Ingrin. He's holed up in uh, Scarsnick's starting settlement. They've kind of done a swap. Throughout the course of the campaign, we came up here, we destroyed Carrick Norn for Scarsnick, and then eventually we came over here and we took all of Clan Ingrin's territory, and then Grom came back up this way, destroyed the Skaven. Hopefully that should give Scarsnick the ability to come and settle the mountain ranges here, although he isn't worth some of the Wood Elves. So we probably have to help eliminate some of them before Scarsnick feels comfortable settling anything else. And so we will descend on Belagar this episode, I think. We also, big breath, we also at the end of last episode, I made a miss move. The royal we, we screwed up. You're all included. <laughs> at my work, we call that the royal we when one person screws up and affects everybody. Uh, in any case, uh, we sacked Paravon here, and then I pushed up to this city here, and I wasn't able to transfer the rock lobbers in. And then Artois came up and reinforced. And so we had a couple, we had one big battle and then a smaller battle. And I've lost two armies and two goblin big bosses. And they were a little bit leveled up, so it stings a little bit. We also lost an opal amulet and a healing potion. That kind of stuff really doesn't sit well with me. It usually, you know, it irritates me to some extent. But it is what it is, and that's just the way the game goes, okay? You live and you learn. You make your mistakes, you learn from them. Uh, and so the mistake, the mistake was thinking I could transfer the rock lobbers in to the army that was sieging Montfort when there was a lord outside the settlement who had a zone of control that was extending past the sieging lord. That was the mistake. That's what did me in there. So if you want to see how that played out, go look at the uh, last 20 or 30 minutes of last episode. And over here, we got some shamans. Let's go ahead and just start working on some skill points. We'll try to steal technology. See if we're successful. We failed, but we didn't get wounded, so that's okay. And we did manage to get a skill point here, so we're going to put that in the specialist, reduce the cost of agent actions, and give us a little bit of increased success chance. And then we want income from sacking, income from post-battle loop. We should have something in here. The Amber Trance transfers leadership to self. That's kind of interesting. And then we have the other trickster shard. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and we'll equip that. We'll get the magic resist. And then nothing else in there. And then going off over here, let's see. Uh, let's try to steal technology. Probably have about the same odds here. Probably 50% and 10. This time we're successful. So we're going to have slightly better research rate for a couple turns. And we'll put a point into specialist like we did with the other. And we'll go ahead and just get some of the same things in here because they are going to go into the armies and the bonuses that they provide. We'll get Ruby Ring of Rune here for the Fireball. The bonuses that these provide are going to extend onto the armies, help with that post-battle loop, everything else. And just a moment here, Grom's been in an ambush. We've been hoping that Belagar would try to underground move out and get caught in the underway, but he's not fallen for it. So we're just going to have to attack and fight the battle. Uh, but we need to get our feet back under us over here. And then we also, at Carrick Izor, the vaults, uh, in a couple turns, we'll be able to upgrade this to get walls. Uh, hopefully before, uh, we're at war with one of the Wood Elf factions, Widrioth, hopefully before they come over and assault it. But if they take it, they take it. No big deal. All right, recruit a hero, Goblin Big Boss. Uh, unfortunately, none of these bosses provide the reduced upkeep for goblins and night goblins in the Lord's Army. So we're going to go ahead and pick Gorfag, Face Smasher. He's strong. And then we'll get uh, Melee Attack or Leadership or Campaign Movement Range. You know, let's get Sly. Let's get stabby. Yes, let's get Stabby. And we're going to go ahead and put points in the Scavenge, Bloody Blade, Gutter Fighter. And I don't think I have anything I can uh, put over here. We lost, we lost most of our items. Uh, no, we have plenty of this stuff, plenty of that stuff. So we'll go ahead and set those in. Let's get stabby. Yes, yeah, so let's get stabby. This is for post-battle loot, increased by 8%. 8 and then uh, gutter fighter. And then, yeah, we don't have anything there, but we do have snotling scavengers. We get like a snotling scavenger and a swindler almost after every single battle. It's pretty, pretty insane. And then we can go ahead and recruit a lord. And we're not doing great goblin shamans because we're going to be bringing a shaman in. So let's go with the night goblin war boss. What are the workshop boys? What is this? Oh, this is um, this is a special one. Ah. 
Good at defending the summoner. Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just go with the uh, the goblins over here. Uh, we have Mushroom Addicted. Excellent. And then uh, we don't need the big bullies. So we're going to get Zark Black Bog. Okay. And then we're going to recruit the other one. Uh, what is this? I can Oh, I can only recruit once uh, one lord per turn in a province, right? Yeah, that's the way that works. Let's go ahead and get Route Marcher or Root Marcher, however you pronounce it. Is it route or root? One of them is one of them is more British, the other is more American. And because of my long history of reading Games Workshop material for Warhammer Fantasy Battles, sometimes I use like the British spelling and sometimes even use the British uh, phrasing of things occasionally. And I guess we can go ahead and get the war banner. We got a couple of those, and we'll get the Lichbone pennant. Need to start recruiting. And we're going with goblins, okay? The the goal here is goblins. Lots and lots of goblins. Uh, now we have snotling pump wagons with the flappers. I've not used these yet. They're expendable. Now what does this do? Strider? Oh, okay, so the flappers cause them to have striders. So they ignore speed and combat penalties caused by terrain, and they can move through trees. So I guess that's kind of handy. These are the regular pump wagons. Uh, I would love to have a couple Doom Divers. So let's go ahead and go two Doom Divers, two Rock Labas. And we'll go with the cheap Gabos for the global recruitment. So I'm going to probably do four units of Spears to protect our flanks. And then with Grom up here, or we still have the Wyvern Stew, which is the Explosive Errors. Uh, really awesome abilities, those Explosive Errors. And now finally, after a bit of setup, lots of talking... Uh, we can go ahead and attack Belagar. I just wanted to look in here. There was uh, we got some new ingredients too. So now we have dulled senses for trolls and giant units. Probably makes them less likely to break. I I don't know. Nothing better for numb and pain. The drunk stunties. Me bashed for. The, the drunk stunt these me bashed for would agree. I, I don't know. And then we got Gabo Legs. Some gets, some gets what tried to rob me in the Badlands. Me bash them, take limbs. Uh, okay, if you say so. Uh, so we do have some new ingredients. And then we have over here, cook for the hag. Mushy meats, mushy meats. Me want mushy meats. I don't, I don't know what the heck we do with this. I don't know where we go with this. And it's supposed to unlock a an ingredient slot on Grom's cauldron so that we can put in three ingredients instead of just two. But I don't I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, I have I have no idea. Okay, and then we have a quest to raid a region belonging to any of the following enemies of Grimgar Grimgor's Ard Boys. But you know what? Let's go ahead and attack here. And I'll see you on the battlefield. Okay, we got ourselves a nice open field battle. So we're going to deploy right here next to the rocks to protect the flank of our war machine. And then we got some gobos here, gobos here. We got our river trolls, our stone trolls. We got <laughs> the fishy tittle muncher. And then we got Grom the Ponch. We got some skulkers on the edge on each side. And then our regular goblins with explosive arrows. We're going to go ahead and gamble this. Now, somebody in the in the content creator Discord had said that um, every time they've gambled magic, it's not gone up or down. So that seems to be a bug right now, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, it will be fixed by the time this is all released. And let's go ahead and start the deployment. And let's see, where do we want to fire our first shots in here? Maybe on the Corollers, and we'll go ahead and come out with Grom. Grom the Fat. He's the fattest of them all, if you didn't know. He's a little slow going up the hill. I don't know if that actually has any real effect on his movement. Okay. 
Okay, but they're gonna stand and fight with Grom. Okay, and they stood they should start clumping up here a little bit. Let's go ahead and push up with our river troll hag. Now Grom should be able to sit in here and fight with them for quite a while. We got the melee attack here. Missile resist. We got our generation. Sundered armor. Let's go ahead and pop that. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. And let's go ahead and just ground fire with our rock lava around Grom. And let's let's back up here with them. Now Grom's looking okay. Let's throw a fireball right in here. And then we'll go for a magic missile. That fireball actually did a little bit of damage. Now, can we get the puke? Can we get the puke? Can you get it out? Ah, oh, it's been blocked. It's been blocked. Okay, let's run away now. Okay, we're still doing uh, good damage with the rock lobber in there. Grom is holding up just fine. He's real beefy. Okay, we'll go ahead. Let's bring her over here, and if they follow, they'll get shot by all these wonderful missiles. And then we have longbeards and longbeards. So let's come up uh, with these units, and let's just take a look at Grom for a moment here. I mean, look at him. He is just mixed in, thick in here, and just sweeping around with this giant axe. Now, I love that. That is that is what you expect out of Grom, right? That is what you expect, and we're really not taking much damage. Let's go ahead and pop that, though, and that's going to give him some damage resist, which is going to allow him to get some of his regeneration going. And then now, let's, uh, let's come up here with these units, and let's bring our Snotling Pump Wagon over. And we'll come out this way. And we'll come around. Now, Grom in the backfield, he's still doing okay. He's still doing okay. Let's go ahead and puke on that right there. Let's get on the hammers. That's going to be a nasty unit. So we want to get in there. And where's our stone trolls? Let's uh, bring them off this way and get them on the Lord over here. Okay, we're going to get our nasty skulkers and our uh, river trolls around the, the side there. Okay, with Grom now, if we can, we'd like to kind of escape a little bit. And let's run with her. And let's go ahead and just drop the idol right there. And let's uh, charge in. Crumple this stuff pretty good. Uh, Grom might actually go down if I'm not careful. Okay, come on, Grom. Push out. Push out, Grom. Push out. Push out. You got to push out. You got to push. Uh, now, what is in here? These nasty skulkers are taking bad damage. Yeah, we got the pump wagon here. Okay, the death hag. The, not a death hag. It's a river troll hag. I'll never get it right. I'll never get it right. Uh, those are quarrelers. Let's crash in with the stone trolls here. Okay, now that we have nasty skulkers in there. We have nasty skulkers here. Grom hath escaped. Troll has escaped. River Troll Hag is escaping. Okay, and let's shoot there. Uh, we need to start shooting all this stuff coming up this way. We need to get our rogue idol moving in that direction. Uh, our trolls have bashed everything in here, good and proper. Let's go ahead and get on the Lord. Let's get the nasty skulkers on the uh, the hero. If I can click on the, if I can click on him, thank you so much. Okay, let's uh, get back towards Belagar. In fact, let's see if we can crump Belagar with that over there. Grom is still looking good. We're okay right here. Let's see. Let's send in Grom. Okay, we got lots of explosives. Pump wagons looking okay. Uh, let's shoot this right back there. Wow, that unit just like popped in. That was that was rather odd. Okay, how's Grom looking? Let's go ahead and boost Grom up. And let's go ahead and put that right in there. Come back with Grom. Now, how are we doing? The uh, the pump wagon is still up and moving. Our idol is down. Our idol is down. Okay, let's uh, come off this way. Okay, 
And we got another fireball. Let's go ahead and blast that right in there. Let's bring this stuff back on the hammers. And can we shoot the hammers here? Let's go back with the pump wagon. Okay, she got caught. Let's uh, keep her moving this way then. And where's Grom here? Let's bring Grom around. Let's get our missiles back. Let's uh, pile in here. Let's start getting on the uh, the missile units. Uh, River trolls will go back that way. Stone trolls in there. Snotling pump wagon back this way. Let's go ahead and hit the hammers there. Okay, we got some more uh, units coming back over here. How does Grom look? Okay, I'd like to get Belagar if we could. Break that. Break that. Smash this good. Okay, it looks like we're doing some damage to Belagar now. Uh, they are coming back over here. Let's bring some nasty skulkers over. And with our long beards, we want to aim at the hammers still. And the fishy tittle muncher will go back up that way. Okay, we need to get some explosive missiles in here. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the hammers with Grom. Okay, and let's go ahead and put this there. And then run off with the fishy tittle muncher. Okay, Grom is ripping apart the hammers. Okay, we got the pump wagon on the run. Let's bring this stuff in here. And then let's go ahead and bring Grom into the Dwarf Warriors there. And let's go ahead and throw some more explosive missiles in. We'll come off this way. Got a fireball. Let's see if we can get that fireball out. Followed by a spirit leech. Okay, decent damage in there. And let's go ahead and puke on the Longbeards. And then let's uh, come in this way. Now, is Belagar broken yet? No, he's not. Okay, let's bring these guys down here. We got our Waz almost ready once more. Let's go ahead and charge in here. Let's break all that. Okay, Grom has regenerated quite a bit of his life back. Let's bring our goblins down this way. Everything is now breaking. So that's it for Belagar. Yeah, he's out of here. We have taken the field. Uh, Belagar is shattered. And now we just need to kill King Lun Ironhammer. And we'll drop a Spirit Leech in there. And maybe that'll get the job done for us. There you go. Uh, oh, we still have the uh, the hero back here. Okay, so Ethereal, he's going to be very sturdy. And we can get Grom over here. And we still have this one over here that we're fighting as well. And Belagar is just hanging out in the center. He's not really running. Okay, it looks to me like this is going to take a little while. So I think what we're going to have to do here is I'm just going to have to finish this up. And I'll see you back on the campaign map. Immortal Grom. Immortal Grom. So even though Grom was stuck in the thick of things there, 5100... Uh, he really didn't get a whole lot of kills. Only 178. It looks like most of it was from the Rock Lobber. And then the Trolls did pretty good too. The uh, the Goblins, even though they have all the explosive arrows, that didn't really seem to do all that much. Uh, you know, I would imagine that you want to use explosive arrows really if you're fighting undead. What we should be switching our recipe to for the, for the Dwarves here would be armor-piercing arrows. That would have been a better choice. But you know what? It's quite okay. And we'll go ahead here. We'll take the Pyrrhic victory. We're going to sack this for 15% replenishment and a bit of cash. 
And then we've gained a new ingredient and we have defeated Belgar. So we have leadership and melee attack during subterranean intercept battles. But it has to be an intercept battle, huh? So I don't know. That may be of limited use to us. Let's go ahead and come back up this way. And now with Grom, let's um, let's go ahead and get income from raiding. Okay, and then with the fiddly tittle muncher, the f <laughs> the fiddly tittle muncher, the fishy tittle muncher. Oh boy, we'll get tenacity. Why does it why does it switch on you when you do that? And then we need to recruit with Grom a little bit here. Uh, oh, you know what? Our global recruitment is all used up. That's we really do need to increase our global recruitment slots. That's uh, that's one thing where we're suffering just a little bit when we're trying to rebuild our forces. Uh, let's go into here and let's switch to brag about the boss so we have increased local recruitment capacity. And. I don't suppose we could recruit anything very useful in here. I think I think we only have access to like basic gobbles over here. So I don't know if trying to recruit lords and stuff in here is going to be helpful. Uh, but what we can do, since we don't really want to use Grutter Guzla, what we can do is we can uh, recruit him and just kick him out. And then that should get us one or two goblin war bosses uh, next turn. And we'll go ahead. We'll end our turn here. Clan Angren brings up a new lord. Uh, the Wa succeeds. The world looked on in horror as the Wa swept over its doomed victims. All shudder in fear of being the next to suffer this cruel fate. Uh, I'm not really sure what succeeded. We didn't have any active WAs up, and we're not going to activate the WA until we get two more armies that are 20 out of 20. Uh, Karak Ziflin here is repeatedly approaching us. They they like us a lot because we've been beating the the rumps off the Bretonians. They're not going to like it when we go over there and we are... Uh, defeat them because <laughs> we most likely will i mean we're just like on a major war path uh the green tide and all that right uh mission issued really all i gotta do is recruit a lord uh that's nifty recruit a lord night goblin war boss so we got mushroom addicted we got upkeep reduction for goblin and night goblin units and then what do we have in here with him also mushroom addicted. Okay, this is uh this is more or less what we wanted. And we've got our final building slot is available to us here. Uh now the the wolf den going up to the arachnorox spiders, that's pretty tempting. That's pretty tempting. Uh but it would also be kind of nice to get some more uh more trolls over here and maybe even a giant, which are now tier 4. And I guess we could, uh, you know, we could have both because we can drop this building, right? We can get rid of this replenishment. So let's go ahead and demolish that. And we'll go ahead and get working on this so we can get the trolls. Now, did I recruit the, the other lord yet? No, I didn't. Uh, so let's go ahead and recruit. Well, maybe we should recruit him over here. Um, because we'll be able to get him up faster if we recruit him over here. And we could maybe send him down to take this back. So, yeah, let's recruit over here and let's get uh, Night Goblin Mushroom Addicted. Okay, he's in here. Raise the banners. So we're going to pick up Route Marcher. Fighting Blade. 
And I don't think I can get night goblins over here. Yeah, no, it's just basic goblins. Uh, so let's go ahead and go one, two, three, four. We'll get some some more next turn around. And then let's... Um, well, here's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and encircle. Because this is going to be it for Clan Ingrid. And we'll go ahead and put our shaman in here. Scouting. Excellent. What the... What is going on? When I put the when I put the shaman in, he escaped? What the hell? What what is this? Alright, so I'm gonna break the siege. That was screwy. Alright, let's go ahead and wipe him out. We don't want that one single lord to like escape and bring back the whole faction, right? We don't want that. Enemy killed in battle. And we get two battles instead of one, so that works out okay for me. And we'll burn it down. Faction destroy Clan Angren. Goodbye, Belagar. And with Grom now, let's go ahead and get Iron Hard. And the Fishy Tittle Muncher. Oh, uh, let's get some more of the magic. Let's go ahead and get evasion. And we got sneaky stabbing. Now, do we ever get like area of effect for this? I don't think so. Sneaky stealing. Itchy nuisance. Gork will fix it. Oh, we got some really good stuff in here. Uh, hinder replenishment, no. Uh, let's put two points in the scouting. Or, no, okay. So, we'll do it like that. Armor plus 20. Um, no. No. Little while ready. Uh, let's try to steal technology once more over here. Successful that time. So now we're going to start tearing through our technology a little bit faster. Put a point in a specialist once more. Uh, nothing over there. You need help. I do need help. Armor plus 20. Leadership banner. Uh, Doom divers coming in pretty soon. And then let's go ahead and get night goblins. Just Night Goblin Archers. Okay. And do we want to go ahead and do some global recruitment as well? Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, just two units of Nasty Skulkers. So we're slightly negative income per turn right now. It'll be worse once we finish recruiting, but it's nothing to worry about. And we'll go ahead and throw uh, the bosses in here. Okay, so that's all we can do. And we're going to have growth plus 10 from our research after the next turn. Okay, they're going to declare war on us, right? Yes, they are. They're already at war with the Crooked Moon. So we'll just have to accept that. And I'm really not sure what Safari is trying to do here. Maybe they're going directly after Grom. Because they're mostly ignoring our settlement. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They did settle this uh, minor province down here, this minor settlement. And we can also cook a new recipe. Uh, our mission was successful. Uh, who did we raid? 
Raid a region belonging to any of the following enemies of Grimgor's Ardboys. Clan Esh and Clan Moor's Border Princes, Talea, Karaza Karak. I, I don't know. I don't know who we raided. I don't think we raided anybody. Our research is done. And we can go ahead here. We can pop through the Underway and land in Skarsnik's territory and we'll be replenishing. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and so we're looking pretty good there. And now down in here, we said we wanted to get the spiders. I think we want the spiders. Yeah, we want to be able to get the Arachnarak spider. And one more turn, we'll have our Goblin Doom Divers. Let's go ahead and get one more unit of Night Goblin Archers, not the Fanatic variety. And we got plenty of Nasty Skulkers. And then we just need, we need a little bit more oomph in this army. I think we'll go one, two, and then a third unit of Night Goblins with Fanatics. And that should flush out this army. Uh, let's go ahead and steal technology once more. Successful again. Good. And a skill point. Put that into specialist. And we look good there. And let's go ahead and just go one, two, and then one, two, three. So now we're spending nearly a thousand per turn. We got time for research. And we'll get the big and bullies for the recruitment cost reduction. And then we're going to go less eating, more building. We'll go over here to Oglock the Orable. And then we need to get pulling teeth. And then we can go up the middle where we can get increased global recruitment duration reduction. Uh, then we can get global recruitment capacity. And that's going to be handy for Grom and our goblin armies when we need to build up like this. Because we're a little bit slow in replenishing our forces after those defeats I talked about at the beginning of the episode. And then we just have to navigate like a little bit carefully to get our armies back together. Uh, but once we do that, we should be looking pretty good. Faction destroyed the Border Princes. Okay, so most likely uh, Grimgor went and took Xerxil. That's what it looks like from the map over there. Gosh, I don't know what Safari is doing here. Esther B. Slayer. Really not worried about her. Okay, now we're at minus 2,000 per turn. And we've gained a new ingredient. What did we get? Uh, is it the ectoplasm? Ghostly protection for rogue idols and minus 20% casualty suffered from all attrition. That's pretty nifty. Passive ability. Berserk for all orc infantry units. We're not using orc infantry. Uh, troll units. Ocean clams. Hellpopper Shrooms, Frenzy for Goblin and Night Goblin Infantry Units, all armies, and then Fire Resist. Ah, uh, that looks pretty good, actually. Uh, what if we do Increased Projectiles? Can I combine that with the, with the Dragon Tail? No. Can I combine it with the Eagle Talons? Maybe I can combine it in here. No, it won't let me. What about this? No, it's not unlocked. Frenzy. Uh, let's try five reputation. Uh, so we end up with Wyvern Stew again. Uh, but the last one was called Wyvern Stew. Oh, okay. So uh, let's go ahead and take take that out. No, let's get that out. And let's try, let's try the Stunty L. And what do we get here? Nuggets and slime. Like who at Creative Assembly got to sit down and think of all this stuff? Campaign line of sight, 20% for Grom's army. Campaign movement range, 10% for Grom's army. Immune to attrition, Grom's army. Oh, that's kind of nice. Ammunition. Uh, recruitment cost, minus 50% for troll units. Um, You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's cook it. Got some We've got a new recipe here. <gasps> mushy meats, mushy meats. Me want mushy meats. We did it. Enchanted cauldron. 
Cauldron ingredient slots plus one. Yes, I'm excited. Uh, then also binge eater. We've cooked four recipes and our hit points have gone up and plus one capacity for goblin big bosses. Okay, so you only need to cook a total of 15. It's not like you have to do 15 and then it rolls over to a new set. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm really excited. Uh, this army is nearly ready for, for our WA. And we should be able to get some uh, trolls in here now. now. These are stone trolls. Where's our where's our regular trolls? Let's look at our troll building. So we don't have we don't have the building unlock. Who needs stabbing? So why can I get stone trolls? Uh, I think this was from earlier. We were able to recruit a unit from the WA, and I think it's maybe the stone trolls that were added. Uh, but I just want one more unit of Night Goblins with the Fanatics. Okay, so this army is going to be all set to go. And then we're going to take one of these big bosses. And we're going to use them to scout. So we got Strong. And then we have Discipline. And then I have Hero Capacity plus one for a big boss. So if I come in here, I can get one more. We can get a Strategist, Determined. Uh, Serial Dances. So he's got Frenzy, Permanent Frenzy. If his leadership is higher than 50%. Uh, let's get the strategist, Gorfang, for campaign movement range. And then we'll go ahead and go to specialist, specialist, specialist. And, oh, I don't know, damage walls. And we're going to send him down the scout. Uh, let's go ahead and come down here with the uh, with the shaman. Ooh, I don't want to uh, steal technology there. So let's just, let's just come on down. So we'll go a turn without stealing any technology. And then we need to recruit up with Grom. And we need to get some units into Durbach Spite, Spite Backer's army. Uh, we want to get him at 20 out of 20, right? Because we want to have um, three armies moving with full Waz. That's our goal. Let's upgrade this stuff here. Uh, that was quite expensive. The costs are adding up. It's adding up here, getting expensive. Uh, so how far how far can they move? Like over to here? No, over to there. Hmm. Like we need to get out of here with Grom, right? But he's still he's still recruiting. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and recruit one more unit of nasty skulkers with Grom. So he's not going to move right now. We'll let him replenish in Skarsnik's territory. The whole world's going to be Groms. You heard it here first. Uh, we're raiding Skarsnik right now, too. So that's um, he's not going to like us for that. Uh, but what can you do? What can you do? Now, can we increase uh, upkeep reduction for green skin, spear, bow infantry, and chariot units? Uh, that would actually be kind of nice. It's 4,000, though. 4,000. I can't afford that. Uh, let's spend 2,000. And let's get that instead. And then we'll be able to move out here. And we'll be able to raid next turn. And then so... Alright, let's make sure we're getting all of our good recruitment here. So we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be okay. We're going to be cutting it a little bit close with our money. But it should work out. No non-aggression packs with you. Join war against uh, Targovan. Um, well, you're not going to give us very much for this, are you? Ah, uh, it's... Oh, no, I just wanted to cancel the money. I didn't want to reject the whole offer. Darn it. Wow, they really got it in for Grom over there, don't they?
Okay, and Bastone shuffling the furniture around. All right, we're we're almost ready here. We're almost ready. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we got Reichland and Midland have confederated. I'm gonna let her attack us. So with Grom, we're gonna stay right where we are. Right where we are with Grom. And we'll go ahead and get... I think upkeep reduction for Grom. How did that get even worse? Uh, we got another skill point here for our Shaman. And we'll go ahead and pick Scouting. Okay. And then with Gorfang, we're going to come down and Scout. And let's go ahead and steal Technology way down here. Who's the boss? Uh, now, this is going to be Undead Corruption. Uh, but I think we can move to right there, and we should be okay. And then let's just go ahead and get a couple more units here. This is a real kind of basic army. Okay. And what does this do again? Campaign line of sight, campaign movement range, ammunition, increased number of projectiles, dulled senses for trolls, recruitment cost for trolls. And I don't want to spend any money to upgrade because we're getting really tight there. And we can't quite reach them. Uh, what we need to do is we need to get a little bit closer here. And we still need to be raiding Skarsnik because we need that thousand, right? And then one more turn. Uh, the Bar Legion has declared war on Artois. And Luan Liancourt is heading over towards uh, the Bar Legion. Wow, they settled that. Okay, that's that's very surprising. Uh, but we'll be able to move over there and attack them pretty soon. They're going to ask for peace and we're going to refuse. Okay, but we need to start getting some money now. Okay, 1700 Hag Merchant spotted in Carrick Bufter. Oh no, we got to go way over there for that? Get out of here. Okay, it looks like we can uh, make the attack here. Let's steal technology. Successful. Uh, we're one turn away from reduced recruitment cost. Uh, we look okay. We look okay for this. The auto resolve is probably going to be really harsh. That seems awfully harsh, doesn't it? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fight this when we come back in the next one because we're, you know, a little bit long right now. And I don't want this to be like a 20-minute battle making it an hour-long episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. You can let me know if you did with comments or thumbs up. And when we come back in the next one, we're going to go ahead and attack Safari here. Their army led by Kirella. Kirella. And we should get some good money and we should be able to sack it and uh, keep our income and our economy afloat. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Take care.